Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm here to talk to you about macaron troubleshooting guide. The other day I was baking my raspberry macarons and a lot of people have trouble with that recipe unrelated to today's video, but I was just testing it again to make sure everything is written correctly and it is and unfortunately when I was baking it I got distracted and baked them a little too long and I got my macarons browned a little bit too much and instead of nice um, pinkish color I got this brown coral orange color and I thought I would share with you a video how to prevent browning and also how two ways to fix it I mean I'm using air quotation because it's not necessarily fixing it but we can salvage otherwise perfect macarons the first reason your macarons might be browning too much is your oven temperature is off my macarons are baked at 300 degrees and you may think your oven is preheated to 300 degrees but every oven fluctuates up to 50 degrees and it, unless you have a thermometer to double check you would never know what exact temperature it is right in your oven so i highly recommend oven thermometer in your oven just to make sure your oven is accurate and second thing you might need to look into is where the heat source is coming from some ovens are from heat comes from the top some ovens are from the bottom some ovens are from top and bottom and convection fan force and etc so if your oven only heats from the top you might want to lower your baking sheet to the lower third so that the, it's away from the heat source let's say if your heat is coming from both top and bottom then you might want to place empty baking sheet at the top rack to diffuse the heat from the heat source you can also lower it and if baking sheet is too thick and it's not letting the heat come through you might also use a silicone mat or foil foil works also great Tip number three would be pay attention if you're using conventional oven or convection oven. Convection oven is when you have a fan forced heat and it distributes heat evenly. However, I usually use conventional oven, so with no fan force. If you're using fan forced oven and you only have that setting, make sure to lower your temperature by 25 degrees. So instead of baking at 300 degrees, you should convert 275 convection convection ovens run hotter so that's why if you bake at 300 at convection that's hotter than what i bake for example you definitely will get browning so make sure to lower the heat if you're using fan another thing is let's say you're you're using conventional oven from heat from top and bottom and you tried putting the sheet empty sheet and everything and nothing is working my suggestion would be to try lower heat and bake it longer. So 275 degrees in the oven, the conventional oven, and bake it for about 20, 22 minutes and see if that works for you. But with my white macarons, placing baking sheet on top and using white food coloring worked perfectly. It's not like sterile white color, but it's nice and white macarons. If you're careful and watching, your macarons and taking them out as soon as they're cooked that you shouldn't have any browning and tip number four the final tip is avoid dark baking pans dark baking pans absorb heat more and that's why it causes browning faster so use aluminum baking sheet or like you know lighter color baking sheets and that should help you now what if you got perfectly good macarons full with nice feet and everything but you got browning don't throw out the macarons i have a fix for you that you can mask go ahead and lay out your macarons facing up so the first way to savage this kind of macarons is to dip them in a melted chocolate i have a melted dark chocolate here you can use white chocolate as well and just dip it and make sure they're dried this is not ganache so it will harden nicely if it's uh, too much you can use a little bit toothpick to 
spread it out evenly like so this way you don't have to throw out a perfectly fine macarons you just make them chocolate dipped macarons and the second way is another amazing way to salvage this kind of macarons is we're going to spray paint them make sure to place a towel or something underneath i'm using this color mist from wilton this is not sponsored obviously when you spray paint it lightly it just gives really nice sheen and you won't see the browning let me show you really easy to use shake them really good and then try to move your hands really fast that way you don't um, spray too much color in one macaron just like move it like this another way to paint is if you don't want to spray anything you can mix a little bit glitter with vodka and paint them it's a little more tedious than just spraying so i like to spray them but it's okay i'm going to show you how to paint i'm going to use this gold paint it's really hard to say the ratio but you want to use it until the thin enough for you to paint the color alcohol evaporates really fast that's why it's best to use um, vodka or clear clear alcohol if you don't want to use alcohol you can always use lemon juice or extracts and whatnot but keep in mind they do dry really long and then just basically mix it together use the paintbrush i mean for food and then you just paint it on like so you will need to let them dry a little bit because vodka doesn't dry instantly but faster than water and if you want to dry faster then you want to use um, everclear with painting also what is nice is you can actually paint the sides as well see how gorgeous is this another thing is if you make a slightly thicker paint i like to decorate macarons like brush strokes like this also really nice for the brush stroke you want to have a thicker paste this is more concentrated and this makes it really nice to add that brush stroke see how instantly elevates your macarons like gives a touch of glass this uh, this design actually works better when your macarons are not browned of course but i thought i would share with you this tip while we're on the topic see how if you make it a little thicker paste your color is going to be more concentrated this is like special occasion uh, macarons when you want to paint and give it like a glam look love 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 so pretty it's called luster proud powder luster powder from from fancy sprinkles edible dust and it's i have a few different versions like this blue this rose pink color i hope you find this video useful if you learned something new please leave me a comment down below and let me know i really love hearing from you and until next time bye